Did you have any conscientious thought about uh, how you were being perceived by young, young Latino children? Oh, sure. Well, it's no accident that I was in that show. It's certainly no accident that Morgan and Bill Cosby were black, are black men. And uh, that, um, um, oh gosh, I can't remember her name, the black girl who was with us so much of the time. Uh, Hattie. Hattie, it begins with a W. But that she was in the show, that there was another man named Luis Avalos who was also Latino. It was a, it was a big mix. We had two of everything. And we had um, Irene Cara was one of the kids who became a star after that recording star. And one of the girls in what we used to call the um, short circuits, the kids, the kid band, uh, was June Angela, who did a lot of stuff on, on Broadway. She did The King and I, and she was Asian. Not was, she still is. <laughs> but uh, they, they really, TTW, Children's Television Workshop, was wonderful about that. They were very, very conscious of the importance of representing everybody. Which is another reason that I think also um, it made it a very special show. And I think the other great show for children, and it still is as far as I'm concerned, is Mr. Rogers. It's a quiet show. It wasn't crazy. The, the Electric Company was so different from all the other shows of that time. Very special. What do you remember about doing a show called On the Rocks? Oh, I just did a spinoff on that. On the Rocks was a, a prison comedy series with Jose Vega, who's wonderful. What a wonderful actor. There's one of those people who never got enough work just simply because he was Latino. Ah, oh, it's heartbreaking. He's a superb actor. Um, and John Rich, the John Rich of the Ezio Pinza first time ever remote live show that I did uh, direct was directing on the rocks and this was the early 70s this was the early 70s and um, Fred Silverman of ABC when I won the Tony for the Ritz on Broadway said whatever she wants we want her on our network so they gave me a two pilot deal at ABC with that character of Googie Gomez who talks like this you know she's uh, She's not Char. A lot of people thought I was doing Char. She's not at all. So they brought me into On the Rocks because there was Jose was in it, and I could be a long lost cousin of his and that sort of thing. And it was a very, very funny pilot. Extremely funny. She's a very funny character. And the pilot was turned down. I'm trying to think of what it was, because even though I was signed to ABC and Fred Silverman, no, it wasn't Fred Silverman. Fred Silverman did not want me, didn't want to sign me. The man who was running ABC at the time, and I can't remember his name, at that time wanted me and signed me. Fred Silverman was just not a fan. And we did the first pilot, and it was really funny. And they ran it after the Oscars that year. And it got huge ratings, and it got enormous attention but he didn't pick us up for a series so I had a deal uh, to have another another pilot so we did a pilot pilot not a spin-off another very very funny pilot and he cut it so that was that 